What is going on everybody and welcome to yet another gameplay video. Last week our gameplay was a little sparse but we are going to try and get back on the daily schedule along with obviously the Pokemon uh, series that we've got going on right now. Today we have a very silly deck. Uh, this one just kind of caught my eye. I believe it's uh, originally created by Covert Go Blue. It's a tried and true strategy for those uh, light combo players we'll say where the goal is really just to play a really big thing with experiment mental overload uh ditching a lot of these instants and sorceries into our graveyard hopefully getting a giant like 10 10 or something like that get maybe one attack in and then fling it with uh Kazul's fury at the opponent and that's it that's the whole plan uh to make this a little bit easier uh, we do have a lot of little, just small interactive spells, Frostbite, Shock, Spike Field Hazard to deal with the opposing stuff. Uh, we've got a lot, oh, and Blitz, excuse me, which gets absolutely massive in this deck. Uh, we do have a lot of like card draw kind of mechanics where we have to discard stuff to draw cards, which is great for this deck. We've got Cathartic Reunion. We've also got Seize the Spoils, which throws out a couple of treasure tokens as it does that, or excuse me, a treasure token. Uh, but the idea is to dual strike those and hopefully get extra mana out of it extra cards out of it uh and then be able to uh, essentially experimental overload as quickly as possible worth noting we can dual strike the experimental overload as well so we can get multiple things out uh which is really interesting in my opinion this is a zerta deck really this is just in here because we can it's not really in here because we're going to do anything with it but it does provide us with an extra little creature at uh, at our whim as needed so we'll see how this goes it's a really interesting deck uh i've enjoyed it i have play tested a good bit with it it's pretty straightforward but today we're here to have fun that is all we are trying to do so i hope that you guys are ready i hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your week as well it's great to be back recording, guys. We were in Charleston all weekend. It's great to uh, finally get to come back and hang out with all of you fine folks and uh, do some cool, cool decks. I really like these decks. This is fun. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, looks like Control, most likely, though they don't have Yorian, um, which is quite interesting, to be honest. So we will see uh i'm gonna just do this we'll throw out a uh or show a snow cover mountain and we'll see how this goes i like having these frostbite or frost boil snarls in this list it just makes things a lot easier uh and so yeah i'm pretty happy with it i would like to get like a shock or something unfortunately we didn't there um let's do this we'll show that mountain again we can actually just go ahead and cathartic reunion i think um question is what do we want to discard i think definitely a mountain uh, and it might be a Fury here as well. Uh, as good as Fury is, is as like kind of a game-winning-esque spell, we don't necessarily need it. Like if we just overload for a lot, we're kind of in good shape. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention as well with this overload, you do get to bring back an instant or sorcery from the graveyard to your hand. Uh, which is kind of killer for this deck because uh, you just get like a, a removal spell or you know a seize the spoils and you get a lot of extra value. So we will see, we will see, we will see. Um, curious to see how this goes too. Uh, let's see. Hmm. So we can kind of double up here potentially, uh, which I think might just be the best play. Uh, as terrible as this kind of seems getting rid of this selfless savior and this uh, clarion spirit seems pretty good because I assume they just do the the trick in a, in response and then we just shock it in response too so we kind of get a two for two out of the deal and they're left with just a one one <laughs> seems pretty good um, they're questioning how this actually works which I think is funny uh, but we just get to shock it in response anyway so it doesn't really matter hmm Lovely. Also, Caitlin went to uh, get a Coke or a Diet Coke because she loves Diet Coke and instead got a Dr. Pepper accidentally. They just gave her a Dr. Pepper. So here we are. Um, I do want to make sure we hit our land drops. So I am going to just go ahead and do this and then we're going to uh, actually let's get one of these dual strikes out of here. Okay, uh, so here we're pretty well set up. I mean, we've got an overload for six. They've got a couple flyers, which is a bit scary, but we can dual strike this blitz and kind of take some stuff out here, which is great. So hopefully, hopefully we can stabilize this, this upcoming turn and then follow that up with the uh, overload and be in really good shape, theoretically. 
Um, okay. Let's do this. We'll show that off. Let's go ahead and play this. The other option is just to overload, uh, which is like fine, but I'd rather stabilize, I think, first. Maybe they have a counter, I don't know, but we do get to copy this, so like it's kind of okay. Just target each of these. Um, if they counter one, it's fine. Looks like they're not going to, though. Uh, so that's good. That's kind of the nice thing about Dual Strike, is you really get to to add a lot to the to the plate there. And they're going to do that. Um, yeah, I mean, that really doesn't matter to me. They, they're they going to get Brazen Borrower down, which is good, but we will see. Uh, we should be able to do this, shock, and maybe do some cool stuff here. That's very good. Uh, this whole situation here is quite good. I don't know if we'll be able to stabilize, but we're going to try. We are certainly going to try. Um, now, crucially, we can actually seize... But I don't really like that because we do want to be able to uh, blitz or at least do something here in response. I'm going to take the blitz. Uh, I guess technically shock would have been just fine, but let's get this thing out of here. Um, we still die though, right? They just have six. So we kind of did what we wanted it to do. It didn't quite get it, uh, but man, that was a fun one. Unfortunately, they just get to attack in, so I'm just going to go ahead and concede there. Um, regardless, that was a really fun game. Let's jump into game two. These games probably will go relatively fast. Uh, we're going to try and get at least four in. Uh, stick around the 20 to 30 minute mark uh, is the plan. But guys, I hope you're having a great week. I know um, without streaming, it's it's kind of sucks because I don't get to like talk with you guys one on one. Um, I'm just not sold that our network is really where it needs to be. It's been a problem for the last few months and we've tried a lot of things uh, and the latest fixes have not worked. And so I'll be honest and say it's a bit discouraging, uh, but I'll also be honest and say that I don't want to just throw this out there and say like, oh, here's a stream, it's down, it's up, it's down, it's up, and that not be a very good experience for you guys because obviously that's a problem too. So I'm really in the camp of like, I think it's better just to not until I know we can. Um, as much as that kind of sucks, I know. Uh, I just feel like it's for the best. So for right now, at least, uh, we are not going to be streaming. We will aim to, to fix that in the future, of course. Um, at, within the next year or so, Caitlin and I do plan to move. Uh, so we've got some things planned that hopefully will make it a bit easier. Uh, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and express a iteration. Um, that goes in hand. Uh, that goes on the bottom and this goes over here. We're going to lose that, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and frostbite this. Get that out of there. Expressive iteration, by the way, just a very solid card. You get so much value out of two mana, in my opinion. Uh, sure. So they take C's here, I guess. <laughs> um, which doesn't really seem great, uh, but that's fine. And there's a shock. Uh... Unfortunately, no land, though, which is a bit of a problem. So I think we actually do this first. Uh, yeah, that's a land. I'm going to take it. Uh, we'll throw this out there. I'm going to actively shock this. Um, I know I don't need to. I could very easily wait, but I think it's okay. We'll see. I'm, I'm playing a bit loosely here, to be fair. Uh, unfortunately, only have an opt in hand. Oh, that's interesting. So they're playing an apparition for no value, uh, knowing that we're probably not going to have a lot. Uh, that's kind of funny. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and opt. Can't really do much else. Don't want that. Uh, what do we want? Blitz is okay, but not great. Uh, I think I kind of just want to throw this into our hand, actually. Yeah, because next, I mean, we can dual strike the blitz and hit both here. That doesn't seem great, to be brutally honest. Um, so we'll see. There's a maul. Maul is great. Um, now we will definitely want to, to kill something here. Oh, perfect. We need them to not have mana left open. Uh, unfortunately, they do. Um, okay. Oh, if we had five mana, we could do so much this turn. Um... Okay, well, we can do this, so let's do it. There's another Blitz, which I actually think is great. So, we Blitz once. 
uh, let them sacrifice the Alciad to get give that per pro red, and then next turn we just get to blitz again. Um, yeah, that's fine. We do want them to burn that though, so that's good that we can do that now. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing anything about that. All right, so we're gonna take a hit here. Um, hopefully though we can stabilize. I feel okay about our position actually. The mall is like not great for us, but I think we might be able to do this. So, ooh, oh, that's so tempting. Um, <laughs> uh, if you don't see it, basically what we can do is dual strike for experimental overload. That might actually be the play. That's so overly aggressive, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> Um, no, mm. so the, that's so not the right play. I think the right play is just to blitz double up and kill both of these. Um, I know that that's way less exciting than dual striking an experimental overload, but that gives us a bigger experimental overload and then no creatures. So I think that that's worth it. Um, they can equip the mall here. That's a little scary. Does not get haste, which is crucial. Um, so if we do this, that costs five, so that's not worth it. Just throw this out. Um, get this back. And then we kill this. I love that that brings back... So if you don't know, what's so great about this, the turn that you play, Experimental Overload, you get so much value because you not only get a giant creature, but you also get a card back. Um, oh man, they have the Apparition. No! Oh, but it doesn't... At oh! Interesting. How did that not work? Did I miss something there? I must have. Uh, that's curious. I'm not exactly sure how that was supposed to work. Part of me actually wants to just ditch this. Um, this gives us a treasure plus two cards. Okay, uh, let's do this. Kind of just want to get rid of some stuff here. Uh, okay, so shock goes in hand. There's the fury, um, but we do need to kind of put that on the bottom. Um, and we get to shock here. No. Shock. Doesn't really matter, does it? Um, yeah, I mean, we'll shock here, but it's not going to matter. They're just going to sacrifice the Alciad, I assume, anyway. Uh, but this does burn the Alciad now, which is quite good. Yep. Um... So no attacks, because there's really no point. They do now have to equip them all to get in damage, which is crucial. Um, which they can do, obviously. Oh man, selfless savior. Uh, that makes it kind of frustrating as well. So what do we need? I mean, truthfully, what's the best draw here? Um, uh, it's something. Um, it's not it. <laughs> it's really not it. Uh, we attack in. I assume they just block with the selfless savior or just take 10 honestly they don't really have to this is instant speed so we can wait um four five so there is a world oh man so we kind of have to kill this uh which sucks and they can just give it indestructible too, so that really sucks. <laughs> uh, good game. All right, we lost. And it's fine. Uh, oh, man. I really wanted that to work. We were so close. Uh, but they were attack away. The, crucially, that gave double strike to the Skyclave Apparition when it attacked. Uh, and so we were just dead. But that's fine. 0-2 oh, with this deck. We are going to get a win. I guarantee it. We are going to do the best we can to get a win i believe in us so let's go ahead and jump into game three regardless this is just a really fun silly deck and we knew that going in so i'm not worried if we don't but it'd be great to at least get one right all right let's see what we can do guys i believe in us like i said i think we have you know at least a decent decent shot against some decks we do have to get a bit lucky of course but that's fine uh yeah we keep this um kind of 
early on the overloads, to be honest. Uh, not exactly what we want, but that's fine. Let's pass and we'll see what they do. Um, okay, very interesting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and frostbite this. <laughs> we can blitz this then, if we'd like. Uh, but that is instant speed, so I think we just wait. Next turn we have expressive iteration too, so chances are we'll blitz at least something here. Um, before they go to attacks, we do need to blitz this, if that's just the only thing that they've got going for them. There's a Rimrock Knight. Interesting, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and blitz that. Interesting they didn't, uh, power it up first. Wow, okay. They just have a bunch of little things, um, <laughs> which is kind of fine. Um, alright, let's go ahead and expressive iteration. We need, what, uh... Probably Cathartic Reunion, that goes into the deck, and this goes outside, and we just play that. Kind of a not great turn for us, hopefully we can hit a untapped land next turn, and then we just have Experimental Overload to do a decent amount here. Um, unfortunately we didn't get it. Uh, so, let's do this, we're gonna get rid of Test of Talents and an Opt, uh, and hope for some removal here. Okay, we got Frostbite. Um, I'm gonna throw this down as a land because we're just gonna need it, realistically. I'm gonna Frostbite the Rimrock Knight. Um, obviously they just Selfless Savior to protect, which is fine, um, but... All right, there's the Winota. Okay, so now that makes a lot more sense as to why they did what they did here. They're gonna Elite Spellbinder. I'm assuming Experimental Overload, uh, which would just make the most sense. Uh, they could try and get dual strike and try and keep us from being cute, but I think just experimental overload is definitely the play. So here an untapped land is so ideal. Uh, and unfortunately we didn't get it, but that would be amazing if we had. Uh, so let's just make sure we're doing the right thing here. I think it's just obviously expressive or experimental overload. Um, we could theoretically opt and try and get kind of cute with it, but I just don't think that's worth it. I'm going to take the Blitz so we can get this Winota out of here next turn. Uh, we are going to take a hit from the spell. Oh, no. All right. Well, then we just die. <laughs> Guys, we keep getting so close, uh, but not quite there. Sad day. All right. At least one more. It's only 18 minute mark. We've got a little bit of time, so we might squeeze in a fifth game, but we are 0-3 right now. We're doing terribly, uh, but that's okay. We're having a good time doing it. This is a fun deck. I really enjoy these kinds of like kind of silly decks, not necessarily good decks. <laughs> uh, definitely not good decks, but definitely silly. So we will see what we can do. Again, I believe in us. All right, here we go. Let's do this, guys. Let's just let's just enjoy it. Let's just have some fun. This is a great starting hand, honestly. Um, we've got a little bit of early interaction, which is great. Let's do this. Throw that out there. And we just pass. Easy pass. Uh, let's see. Do they have anything? No. Okay. Interesting. Uh, then we just play this, and I'm actually going to go ahead and foretell the dual strike here. This allows us, so one thing we we talked about doing this with the experimental overload, which is obviously very good, but there is a world where we don't use it on that and instead just use it on some removal um, to double things up a little bit, see how that goes. Um, so we'll see. Okay, uh, let's put this in hand. Put this on the bottom, and let's put this over here. Because then we can just play it. Uh, and now we've got Spike Field Hazard or Shock Up, uh, which is quite good. Ooh, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and do this now while they cannot counter, uh, because that's obviously going to be a very bad thing if they could just counter that and then we don't have... I mean, we've had backup, but I'd rather not start in a, a counter war here. Wow, we have so many of these. <laughs> um... Play the land, I think, is definitely going to be what we do. 
and I think we seize discarding a seize. Uh, they could counter this, and like that sucks, but it's really not the end of the world. And now we've got shock left up still. Uh, so if they happen to brazen borrower here, we just have another way to deal with it. Mono blue, huh? It's very curious. Passing. So now, crucially, we do have dual strike mana plus experimental overload. Uh, but it does worry me a bit to just go for it. Um, I don't think we're going to get in a position where this is going to help. So let's start by just experimental overloading um, and see how this goes. Wow, it does land. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, I'm actually going to take the hazard. <laughs> um, if nothing else, it's a land. So like it's a safe bet. But we also then just have a free kill on another Brazen Borrower, and we've got so many of these little removal spells that we should be able to kind of deal with whatever they've got. Okay, uh, yeah. It's kind of fine. They are not going to have sweepers, so they're just going to have a ton of bounce effects, which is a problem for us, but uh, if we can dual strike an experimental overload, we're going to be okay, I think. Uh, I mean, we'll see, obviously. There's the reveal. Let's see what they pull. Ugin. Something big. Yep, there's the Ugin. Uh, no surprise there. Uh, do we shock or do anything like that just to build up the overload? Actually think... Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we do. They're not quite at the mana they need to make this work, so... Just gonna do that to, to build things up here. Um, I'm going to throw the land down, I'm going to dual strike, we're going to overload. Uh, let's see, what do we want, what do we want? Uh, I think it's dual strike, and then this one is for four, we do have to keep that in mind. Um, I think it's iteration. We just kind of need some selection here. I think at some point they're going to bounce, I assume, the 5-5, five five, um, which is fine. Yep, uh, that's fine. At least we kind of got to do what we wanted to do this game. Um, it's not perfect, obviously. This is a very interesting deck. It's just blue tempo, but it's pretty good. Um, and they're leaving up the mana to flash in the borrower. Okay, so what do we want to do is the question. Uh, let's try and be cute just because I want to be. We're just here to have some fun anyway. We should attack first, obviously, um, but it really doesn't matter. We're going to discard you, and we're going to discard... Probably the other Cathartic Reunion. Alright, so now we have double Cathartic Reunion. <laughs> um, they're going to counter one of them. That's fine. Still doubles, I suppose. I've not had this reaction, so I don't really know how this works. Alright, cool, it did work. Alright, so land. Uh, easy enough. Blitz that. We actually should have kept that. That deals with Planeswalkers. They have an Ugin. That's a little scary. Um, it's fine. We're fine. Not even worried about it. They can discard two cards to bring this back to their hand if they want. I mean, that's an option. Uh, if we get another overload anyway, we can just get the Blitz back, I suppose, too. I'm being a bit aggressive by doing this, for sure. Because the next turn, if they just have any land, they just drop Ugin, and then they're pretty much set, but... It's fine. Everything's fine. Wow, they did it. Interesting. Uh, okay. They discarded two cards to keep the Fey. That's really interesting to me. Um, I wonder why. I wonder what else is in their sideboard here. I mean, they just drop Ugin now. Uh, we've got a lot of burn to kind of deal with Ugin here, but... That's interesting. Very curious on that one. Minus four. Why? 
That was a really bad move by the opponent. They thought that was power. Uh, that's interesting. That is really, really interesting. That was a mistake on their end. Uh, okay, there's the overload. We definitely want that in our hand. I think we put iteration back and put the land here. Uh, they don't have mana open, so I think now's the time for the overload. And I think we do take back uh, Blitz here. They're going to get something with the Fae, uh, so I want to be able to Blitz if I can. Now we just have a 10-10, which is pretty good. Uh, that was a huge misplay on my opponents, and they should have minus a zero, uh, not the other way around. I'm going to counter. This is the one counter we have in our deck. Okay. Counter war. That's fine. Um, it was worth a shot, I think. And they just got another Ugin, so we have the Blitz. <laughs> That's totally fine by me. Um, all right. So here... We just attack in first. I assume they block with the Fae. Cool. We're going to put Zerda in our hand. Not play Zerda because we do know that they've got the Ugin. I'm curious to see if they think they can't deal with this now. <laughs> It'd be really funny if they mess that one up. <laughs> uh, so they minus zero it and it deals with this. I'm so curious as to why they're doing anything like this, but that's fine. Um, so the question is, do we want to double up here or do we just want to blitz it? I'm going to blitz it. Just so we've got the extra burn. They do have a Brazen Borrower and things like that, so I feel like that's fine. Let's go ahead and throw that out there. All right, we got a hand with a couple burn spells in it, and that's about it. So let's hope that this is enough. They did get rid of the Fey officially, so they don't have that anymore. They could have Alrun's Epiphany, but why would they foretell that? They would just play it. Um, what is this? <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yep. I'm just gonna shock this real quick. Uh, worth noting they can activate the Faceless Haven. So we do need to keep Frostbite up here. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's really good. Um, all right, let's attack in first. They may just take three here. Cool, they did. This has to be the counter spell. Saw it coming. So this is running into a counter, I know, but... <laughs> Uh, I'm glad we attacked first. That's fine. Uh, I mean, it's not good, but it's fine. So there's one in the graveyard and then three there. So that's all of them. Well, okay. That does change things slightly. Um, what in the world is this deck? This is the weirdest thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and burn this while I can. If they counter it, it is what it is, but that just gets that off the field, so that's helpful. There's a Cathartic Reunion. Not very helpful. Um, I am going to attack in here. If they want to trade off the Faceless Haven, that's fine, but it looks like they don't. They may also just be for... Uh, they just want to throw the counters on that. Okay. That's a cleaner answer, I suppose. If they take three, it, it is what it is. This is an interesting battle here. Um, okay. I'll take that. Um, so what's our win is my question. I don't know that we have one. <laughs> okay. So we don't attack in here. They milled three. <laughs> All right, well, chances are we're going to lose because we've got a Zerta, <laughs> and that's about it. Um, but you know what? Still been a fun one. This has been hilariously fun, in my opinion.
Um, I still think this deck is really funny. I like it. I enjoy it quite a lot. No, it's not good, but that's fine. Yep. My turn. We just keep that for the Cathartic Reunion. And that's it. Let's see if we can do it. I don't think we can. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, there's the Crawling Barons. They're going to get that super, super massive. And then we're going to be in really terrible shape. Uh, yep. <laughs> this is funny as heck. Oh, okay. Another Fey. If you guys watch or enjoy watching uh, me slowly lose games, this is this is perfect. There's the Kiora vs. Sea God. Can they play that now? I think they can. They're not going to. All right. They're just adding insult to injury at this point, which is fine. All right. Okay, so there's a frostbite, uh, but I actually think the play is to do this. See what we get. How many cards do we have left? 26? Oh my gosh. Uh, resolve. Auto pay. I mean, sure, that's definitely fine. There's a blitz. Super helpful, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> get rid of the fey <laughs> and attack for three yeah guys we're getting there three damage at a time no we're super dead they have Kiora best to see guy guys i'm not i'm not prolonging this anymore all right so we didn't win a single game and you know what i'm okay with that this was a very very fun deck it was silly from the beginning guys like if you thought this was going to win a lot of games you were definitely wrong but I do think um, we could have played a little bit cleaner. We probably could have snuck out a win or two in those games, but uh, we didn't play super cleanly. We were just having some fun today. Uh, I'm excited to be back recording some gameplay. It's been, I feel like, a little while since we've done a lot of it. Uh, and so even though it's really only been like a week or two, maybe, um, but it does feel nice to be back. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please leave a like or a comment down below. If you would like to join our YouTube membership, we do have that available now as well. We've got that enabled some perks there with some, uh, emotes and badging and things like that. So please do check that out guys. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you all watching and, uh, stay tuned. We should have some more gameplay up tomorrow. Make sure you check out the Pokemon series as well. That's been really fun, but thanks so much guys. I'll see you in the next one.